This video shows the results of our work on Bayesian recognition of human motion-related activities using inertial sensors. The aims are real-time recognition, unobtrusiveness through realistic sensor placement, high precision and high recall. The activities under investigation were sitting, standing, walking, running, jumping, falling and lying. The person wears one inertial measurement unit, called an IMU, on the belt. We compare four Bayesian estimators with respect to their suitability for activity recognition. They were trained with semi-lateralistic label data from 16 people aged 23 to 50, a total of four and a half hours of data. To demonstrate our results, three situations are shown. At a meeting, walking, standing and sitting. At the bus stop, running and jumping, and in the forest, falling and lying. For every scenario, you will see the live video and the current status of the four real-time estimators. The estimators in the top row use a naive Bayes approach. For the two algorithms below, a Bayesian network was learnt using the labeled training data set. On the horizontal axis, there are bars for every activity each in a different color. The height of the bars indicates the confidence of the estimated activities from 0 to 100%. In this use case, we demonstrate the situation where a student is rehearsing for her final master's thesis presentation with her tutors. She comes into the room and starts to give her presentation. After the presentation, the student sits down to discuss with her tutors. In the bus stop scene, the student and her colleagues want to take the bus home from work. The colleagues are already waiting for the bus, which is about to arrive any moment. Since time is running out, the colleagues finally decide to call the student, who arrives running. We can even see her jump over a stone. Again late, this time on her way through the forest, the student is running on a slippery path. It was going to happen, our student slips and falls. Luckily, she isn't hurt, and after a short moment lying on the ground, she gets up and walks on, more carefully this time. Our approach shows excellent results. In practice, no activity change remained undetected on a per-activity basis. Our data windowing introduces a decision latency of half a second. The precision of falling formally lies at only 80%. This is due to the short duration of the event and our estimator consistently overestimating its duration. Our system is unobtrusive, highly reliable and works in real time. Personnel managers can use it to monitor the current activities of their team members during critical operations. Dangerous situations where people fall and don't stand up again can be detected with our system. Many mass market applications, such as intelligent assistance services, can in future draw on reliable context estimation with simple sensor arrangements.